Hey guys, Todd from Great Escape Farms here. I am finally potting up my rooted cuttings that I had in cold storage so that I could ship them out as dormant rooted cuttings. So the idea is to slow the growth down, prevent them from leafing out, and that allows me to ship them without stressing them as much. So I actually pulled them out of cold storage a couple of weeks ago. I wanted to show you the difference in size so uh, the whole reason for this is just so that you know to order early to get your plants in the ground just because of the jump in what you get so the plants here on the side so this one and this one right here they are from the same batch it's just i planted them directly in soil in the let's see that would have been the april time frame so these went into soil in april and these have not been in soil yet so these were in cold storage uh like i say up and up until april may time frame they went in cold storage in the february march time frame same they were all the same size when i took these cuttings here so you can see the difference that just a couple of months in soil makes so if you purchase plants early you get that big a jump on the season so I'm gonna go ahead and take these out so that you can see the uh, the root growth on these and maybe we'll compare it to the other ones there so I put the leaves on the bottom here just so I don't lose all the sand out of the bottom of the holes so I'll pull that off and keep it out of my bed this is a uh, children's play sand I also use concrete sand for my bed here so what I'm gonna do is separate this out and I do have a couple of them here that died off on me so we'll get rid of the ones that died off and there we are with three plants I'm sorry four plants so this is what we have right here and you can see that it is rooted out has quite a few leaves on it but it is nowhere as big as these right here so let me take this out and and you can see the the roots on these already spinning around and all if this was in the ground i mean this would be doing wonderful even better than what it is right now so what we're going to do is we're going to catch these guys up right here to the other cuttings right there so i'm going to individually pot each one of these with potting soil and we'll go from there so let me set up over on the table and just show you what i'm doing okay we're set up here so i have some pots here and first thing i do is i cross out what was on there before and then i'm going to number it so what I have, my numbering scheme is just the year and the row number. So 2017 is the year that I'm taking them out and they were row 22. And I'll just do one for right now. So I'll just pull that out and I have potting soil here. So I'll put a little bit of potting soil on the bottom and then add the plant. There we go. I will go ahead and water this and uh, let's see for the next couple of in the next week or two I will put these in the shade just so it, with the roots being exposed and all just so it's not quite as big a shock and then I'll move them or at least dappled shade so it'll get some sun but not full on heat of uh, the full on sun because we're actually going to be in the 90s the next couple of days here and I, I don't want these to get that horribly hot. So that's all there is to transplanting these and uh, these will root out and probably not catch up to these other ones here but hopefully get big enough to be a, a good sellable plant here before too long. So that's it from Great Escape Farms for this evening. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Have a great night.